Welcome back for another Polygon Matic Prize Prediction Analysis and in this video I want to discuss the short term and also the long term price action to expect in the next coming hours here on the Matic chart and before I do so give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording Matic is holding below the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up. We have also lost a significant area of support at around the 0.6227 dollar mark and all this is playing out after we saw this massive pump after getting our lows at around the 0.49 dollar mark in a move that has now given us a very significant high at around the 0.664 dollar mark and since we have lost a significant area of support and also given that we have been pumping for the last few days there are chances that in the next coming hours we might see a bit of a pullback before we can continue gearing up and continue getting impulsive here on the Matic chart and using the Fibonacci's, I want to give you areas that you need to keep your eyes on using by connecting the Fibonacci's from those lows at around the $0.49 mark to that high at around the $0.6657 mark. And that now gives me a minimum target area that we need to keep our eyes on and also an area that Matic needs to continue holding in case this pullback continues in the next coming hours and that target area is between the FIB level 0.382 and the FIB level 0.618 and that is between the $0.6029 mark and the $0.5642 mark that is the area that we need to keep our eyes on on the short term here on the Matic chart since there are chances that the moment we see a 4 hour close on the lower side of this key area of support then we might continue seeing further weakness into the blue target area where I will be expecting to see a reaction of these areas on the Fibonacci which can then give us another bounce back to the upper side breaking above resistance maybe get a retest and then continue gearing up and get above the $70 mark Alternatively, in case we see a pullback and maybe we lose the FIB level 0.618, then we can expect further pullback to the 0. That is the FIB level 0.78 at around the 0.5366 dollar mark, and losing the FIB level 0.78, then that will be suggesting that Matic might give us a reset of the lows that we made at around the 0.49 dollar mark. So that is the alternative scenario that we need to have in mind and jumping to the daily chart to now give you my long term additive analysis and the target areas for the bull market. Here on the daily chart you can easily see that back in 2020 we saw those lows down there before we saw that massive pump giving us all time highs at around the $2.9 mark in a move that completed the formation of these with one to the upper side and after seeing the formation of that first wave we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 into the minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this red target area an area that we fully maximized and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave and in the next coming hours we can continue getting impulsive and see that movement in the formation of this wave 3 to the upper side and giving you minimum target areas for the third wave by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave I get a minimum target area for the third wave at the Fib level 1.618 and that is the minimum that we can expect Matic to do on the long term here on the that is basing on the editor structures and I hope that video was of much help to you. <laughs>